Greetings, my friends. I hope you are all enjoying your summer. I am, and it's a cooler day today, so I can't be happier. I have my garden in place, and I'm sure that there are plenty of you out there who are also gardeners and have your gardens in place too. I want to share with you a little trick I learned to how to take care of ants. So last year, I had an ant problem and I didn't want to kill them with chemicals and I, I really didn't want to kill them at all. I just wanted them to leave my squash plant alone. It was a healthy looking squash plant and it wanted it to produce. So every different species has an overseeing being over it. We call those devas. So there's a deva of the ants, a deva of the cats, a deva of the dogs, a deva of the pine trees. You get the picture. So different, different devas out there for every little thing. And so what I did is I connected and I asked the deva of the ants if she wouldn't mind the, sending the ants some other place. I told her that I respected their right to live. I appreciated the work that they that they do. I know that they have purpose, and I would not want and I don't want to destroy them. But perhaps there is another area that they could go and be happy. And I pointed out some other areas that I would be fine for them traveling over to. So next day I came out, there was not a single ant around my squash plant. So I told my friend this story who was also having an ant problem. And she decided, well, what the heck, can't hurt. I'll talk to the Deva of the ants. And so she talked to the Deva of the ants. Next day, her ants were gone. My mother was also having a problem with her ants. So I suggested she try this trick. Next day, her ants were gone. My friend's friend had an ant problem and she decided to try the trick too. Next day, the ants were gone. Four out of four, 100%. So um, I love this because learning about these types of things gives us a new tool in our toolkit. We don't have to uh, work against nature. We don't have to fight against it with chemicals and destruction. We can actually work with nature if we can learn to connect with these other beings. And so I wanted to share that with you and share that there are plenty of beings out there that desire to help us, such as fairies and elves who can help us also in the gardens. And we have angel beings all around us too that can help offer us help. So one day, it was a really windy, windy night, and I had glass jars sitting out on a ledge, and I knew, oh no, they're, they're gonna they're gonna fall over and break in this wind. I'm gonna come out there and find a mess. I didn't want that to happen, but I also didn't wanna get up out of bed when I was so snugly warm and comfy in the middle of the night to go rescue my glass jars. So I decided, well, I need to ask for some help. So I asked three of the unknown angels if they wouldn't mind guarding and protecting my glass jars. So next morning, when I went out and looked at the glass jars, I was kind of holding my breath, wondering, oh no, what, what, what is going to be the situation? I was amazed to find that none of the glass jars had broken. And in fact, one had fallen and was actually wedged between a pipe and a brick wall and hadn't cracked. It was just safely there. And the cement that was on the ground, nothing, nothing happened to my glass jars. They were safe. It was mind blowing. It was so cool. I had to definitely thank my angels. And I, I told this story to my husband who said, what? You mean this is kind of like having, having a genie? You can, what, you can ask for like three wishes or something? And, and of all the things you ask for, you, you ask, please, please protect my glass jars. Please help them not to not get broke. Um, <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny, but 
but yeah, um, yeah, not, you don't need a million dollars all the time. Sometimes it's just the little things like not having your glass jars get broken that really matters. Anyway, um, I hope you can take this week to practice connecting with some otherworldly being and have fun with it. And if you've had experiences with otherworldly beings of any type, star beings or elementals or anything, I would love to hear your story. Please go to my website, karenwhittemore.com. Join our mailing list and write your story on the Share Your Story page. We would so love to hear it. Thank you all. I hope you have a magical, awesome day. Be well.